Today I'm talking about three is the magic number. So I've been a student of measuring what matters in business. Uh, I read this book by John Dower, who was the, he's like the godfather of OKRs, Objective Key Results, if you know what that is. He was, uh, after working at Intel with Andy Grove, um, by the way, Andy Grove is the one that created the OKR process. Anyway, John Doerr went, uh, he was an investor, early stage investor, which is what I aspire to be one day. Um, but uh, he, he, um, he was very early on in companies like Google and Amazon and, 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 and Intuit and several others. And he kept evangelizing this uh, OKR process. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so he, uh, he, the OKR process is what a lot of these founders of these big, of these companies who are now household names to us, uh, have attributed their success to this OKR process. So I constant, I've always tried to implement them in some way. And I've gone back and forth with how many objectives to have that I'm focused on at any given time. I've had 10, I've had 20, I've had one. But I've, I've learned that the sweet spot for me is three. So I, I always refer in my mind that three is the magic number. When I start out each quarter, every three months, I establish three things that I'm working on. These are the three things that are the most important to me to accomplish the three objectives I want to achieve. And I focus on those three things. Now I'm okay to change them. I can adjust them if needed. Um, and every once every couple of months, usually three months, I will look at them again and make a real clear decision. Are these the things I'm focused on? If I can name those three things at a given time, like I, somebody asked me the other day, I think fam, my wife or somebody asked me, what are you trying to accomplish this year? What, what are your goals? And I actually had those three things in my mind because I had been focused on the three primary objectives, the three things I wanted to achieve. So I would recommend narrowing the things down that you want to achieve in life. It's, you're not saying no to everything, but you're deciding what to focus on. You know, you will really truly achieve innovation or become better at something when you decide to focus. That's, that's the only time that ever happens. So my recommendation is pick three and stay focused on three. Make changes, but stay focused on the three things that you want to achieve in your life and say no to everything else.